everybody. I'm just going to make sure that uh, we are live and I can see us on uh, the channel. One second, making sure you can see and hear me. There I am, I think. Yes. Got this code last night, played a little bit. Um, had to relearn how to play a little bit. It's been a long time. Okay, good. Yep, we uh, can see and hear. Terrific. Um, uh, let us do this. Boop. I turned the music off. That's the one thing about the game, because there's all kinds of licensed music, so I didn't want to uh, uh, have YouTube's uh, copyright flags going crazy right now. Um, okay, and we are going to go back. Is it coming back? Yep. Okay, rock and roll. I'm going to turn this off so it's not making noise. Okay, groovy. And uh, welcome, everybody. Little Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Don't you guys wish we could have done this back in the day when this first came out? What a world we live in now. Okay, uh, I'm just going to open up the uh, iPhone chat so I can see you guys. All right. Um, I had to play it a little bit before I started streaming because... I, I I had to kind of reacquaint um, I had myself. To play it a little bit before I started screaming because I, I, I had to kind of reacquaint myself. Goku, good to see you. Um, let me turn. I'm setting up my phone. I'm using a bunch of Game Boy Advance boxes <laughs> to perch my phone on so I can read the read the chat. Although when I'm playing, um, and I know you guys want to see this thing here, so I'm not, I I won't chat for too long. Um, when I'm playing it, you guys just want you want to see the game, right? Okay. So, and also when I'm playing it, um, uh, I won't be able to read because things go fast, as you guys know. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna I beat a bunch of the challenges. I have to get the six score of a hundred thousand, and then I've completed the uh, warehouse, which is of course the very first uh, level. Um, there's only twelve seconds left of this one. So. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how you can flail and bail. Okay. All right. So let's let's do this again. See if I can get my six score. I've got a couple of the. Um, uh, oh, is it Abby's birthday today? Abby Jamison, happy birthday! Woo! And is it Blade Blurs? Is it Blade Blurs? Oh, very nice. Happy birthday, you guys. Uh, Blade Blur, we talked about Crash Bandicoot. I, uh, Jose Sanchez is my uh, next guest on uh, Vic's Basement, and we had a lot to talk about. Uh, but we talked about Crash Bandicoot, and we gave you a shout-out, buddy. All right, here we go. Um, we're going to retry this level. We're going to try to go for 100,000. I'm only going to try it once. <coughs> Although you guys know this game. There's, you just, it's like, one more time, let's do it again. Only one more time. Okay, that's it, just one more time. Well, that's it, just one last time. And then that goes on until 2 in the morning. Uh, but, well, I'll try the 100,000 once. And if I don't get it, uh, which I might not, um, we'll go check out some of the other uh, parks. Uh, I'm, I'm at the point now where I know why I'm falling as much as I am. I got this up. Position wrong. But stuff happens so fast in this game! Oh, I knew I was gonna get that. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Not while I'm talking. This takes all my concentration. Alright. Oh! And, you know, I played it to have fun originally. I didn't, like, figure out all the cheats. And I know there's all kinds of ways to scrape off walls and do all kinds of fun things to boost your scores and I don't know how to do all that stuff. Alright. Oh, my score's terrible. Oh, come on! No, that wasn't going to be an all right one. There we go. 
I don't even know how to get that guy. I'm gonna crash. Yeah, I'm not gonna get anywhere near to 100, I don't think. <laughs> I remember getting the grooves on the half pipe and doing tons of grinds to be able to get the multipliers up, but it's been a long time, guys. No. Alright, that sucked. Alright, be prepared for me to suck quite a bit, okay? Uh, Alright, so we're going to go to another um, another park. So let's go to a different level. Um, let's try the school. Let's see how we do. I definitely need work. Yes, I knew. I know, Bubble Buster. I got pretty good at this back in the day and, and each year. But, you know, you guys know me. I, I only ever get pretty good at games. I never get, like, awesome at games. Because I have to move on. I can't stay with these things. i got to move on to the next one. Okay, let's see if I can uh, pull off anything in here. There we go, U.S. Alien Games backing me up. Thank you, USA Alien Games. It's a great username, by the way. Oh, it's my pleasure, Goku. I'm kind of feeling like there's so many games coming out, and I, I feel really guilty because I get a lot of codes, and I get to try a bunch of stuff, but I can't, I can't play everything and then shoot the reviews and do all the stuff and spend the time to put it, you know. So I think I'm going to stream a little bit more for the next few months. Just so you guys can check out all the stuff, and at least we can have conversations about it. So I'm trying to figure out what my schedule is going to be, but it feels like that would be a pretty wise thing to do. Sort of like, like early review type discussion streams, and then I'll shoot as many reviews as I can as well. But I love, I, you know, I love doing it all. I love reviewing the movies. I love doing interviews with people in Vic's basement, and I love. Uh, you know, putting little features and stuff together. I like the side scrolling superheroes. It's just it's only 24 hours in a day, man! Okay. So I hit my 10. That's alright. There's lots of areas to grind on this, which is good. That's I, I found that's where you got the most points in Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk in. So good looking, huh? Made with the Unreal Engine. What am I getting here? A cereal? Magazine? I don't even know what that is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, I'm not going high enough. Okay. Yeah, textbooks. Okay. I like the collectibles. Oh, I gotta get some speed. I know, guys. I know you're saying be better. I know. I know. predict your comments. I can't read them. I know what you're saying. Do a kickflip. How was that? That was some pretty good wiping out right there. Okay, go, Victor, go. Robert Turner's backing me up. I love it. I really enjoyed your podcast with Brandon Jones. I've been following Easy Allies for a while. Thank you, Evan. Yeah, that was a fantastic convo. Love chatting with uh, Grace Randolph as well. Uh, and then I saw that she was all over Twitter because of her um, scoops on uh, troubles with the Mandalorian 2 and then Lucasfilm released the trailer. So, uh, people sure like to get angry about stuff they're passionate about. Or they didn't release the trailer, they released a logo. Um, and I, I don't know if everybody was on when I said it before, but Foobs, uh, Jose Sanchez is my next guest. And then I've already recorded one for next week that you guys are going to really like. It's a very cool one with two special guests. Oh, that hurt. I love the, um, like the VHS rewind thing that they do whenever you wipe out. It's a cool touch. Oh, I haven't even created a character. I've just scratched the surface on this, okay? So everybody, just ease up on the anger. 
I know I'm not doing well. There we go. Oh. Do I have uh, Blair Farrell or Chris Baker or anybody, any superhero game fanatics in there? Because my big question is, I'm, I'm streaming, I can't come to the door. My kid wants to come in. Oh. Sorry for yelling. By the way, for anybody with headphones on, I apologize. Okay, I gotta get the door, guys. They're, they're knocking on the door. My kid's got a friend over. Uh, they're social distancing, playing Roblox out in the blankets in the backyard. It's pretty cute. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I got to the end. Okay, they can wait five more seconds. Oh, and I did so poorly. All right, one second. Okay, I'm still with you. I've got an unplugged controller. Okay. Hi, I'm on. I'm streaming with everybody. You guys want to say hello to everybody? Hi. Hi. I need my purse. You need your purse? I don't know where it is. Are you coming in? Okay. All right. Keep it here. There we go. I don't know where your purse is, sweetheart. You got it? Oh, you're going to the store? Okay, be careful crossing the street, okay? All right, look in every direction. Okay? Be really safe. I love you. Okay, see you guys. See you in a bit. Bye. There you go. That's a look at my life right there. You get, you tuned in for Tony Hawk. You got a little bit of, of uh, what it's like to have a little kid. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to try this again. And um, we are going to try to get some of these goals accomplished. I don't even know if I've gotten one goal. In this. Let's see. Oh, I think I, got, I found the skates. Oh, I have to get up to the roof. That's right. Oh, I'm up. What? How did I do that? How did I do that? I'm on my face. This game is so good. This was one of the games, I believe I made a feature video, I think yeah! it was this year, sweet, saying that it's time for Tony Hawk 1 and 2 to be remastered, and then like two weeks later, well, you know what, we're going to remaster Tony Hawk 1 and 2. So, oh, bells. See, I love all these collectibles. So good. Almost feels like Assassin's Creed was influenced by uh, some of this stuff. Oh, dope. Oh, oh, man. I know you're all saying do this, do the pop shove it, and the, the kick flips. And... I don't know all the stuff, guys. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Oh, that did not feel good. Oh, come on. Yes. No, there's a big something up there that I can't get. Nope. Okay. Oh. Ouch. Get up. Nope. Ah. At least I know when I'm going to crash. I know when I'm wiping out. I can feel it. Okay, here we go. Nope. Need some speed. Come on. Oh, man, imagine the, the blood. <laughs> Poor Tony Hawk, he wiped out as much as I wipe him out in the game. It would just be like one giant road rash. Okay, that sucked worse. But I got up on a roof, so I feel good about that. Ah, uh, Corey Nolan says, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Damn, this guy is... Taking some abuse, yeah, Olaf. I mean, that's the way it goes when you you reacquaint yourself with the Tony Hawk game. I felt like a that this happened to me every year. Remember, they used to make these every year. That's kind of what, what killed the whole Tony Hawk thing in the first place. But uh, every year, I'd have to kind of reacquaint myself because nothing plays like a Tony Hawk game, you know. Like even the other action sports stuff that Activision invested in borrowed from Tony Hawk, but Tony Hawk was special. And so you had to kind of learn the language of the control. So much happening so quickly. And you know, what, what happens for human beings is as they age, because it's 
been 25 years or something like that since this game came out. All of their reflexes get much better. That's what I've heard, right? Is that right? Do I have that right? Oh! Ah! Okay, I can't talk. Right. Get up on the roof again, Tony. Come on, Tony, come on! No. Oh, I did it! What? That's so weird. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's this jump? Where does that go? Oh, over to that. Look at that! Oh my god! Ah! I want my on the live. I see that a lot, actually, the, uh, the blurring in. It's because I like that effect so much that I'm constantly wiping out just to see it. That's the story, and we're going to stick with it. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. My poor avatar. Oh, that's intense, the uh, 24 clock. <laughs> this series takes place in real time. Everything that you see takes place between 3 and 4 p.m. That's a throwback. That's a deep cut for 24 fans. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know what I was doing there. I did it, though. Oh. 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 Oh! All right. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, come on! Let's see if I can get some points on the board here. Okay, I got something. Nope. Oh! Nope. Come on! Come on, Tony! Me. Yes. Whoosh. I have eaten a lot of concrete today. Yes. No. Come on. I gotta get a groove. No. I'd be talking to myself like this even if you guys weren't around, so it's kind of the same. There'd be more swears likely, though. Yes! Oh, come on! Land it! Land it! There we go. Okay, alright. That's some points. A little bit. Yeah, okay. Alright. Oh, yeah! Oh! <laughs> I'm still figuring it out! That's totally the 24th I wonder if they just borrowed this from the game. Uh, oh, come on. <sighs> One more time. Okay, I'm trying to get to 70. Grind some tables. Okay, let's get some of these, uh, these objectives and scratch some of these things out. Very painful, yes, I know. No! Oh, that's cool. Whew! Okay. Oh. This was the grind on the table? That's right. One of those. Okay. I remember this level being large and in charge. There's another one. Okay. Oh! 
Come on. Oh my god. Oh! over there maybe nope oh my god I'm drunk uh, okay all right one last try on this one and then we'll go to the mall and we'll check that one out okay Oh, oh, Jesus, I'm terrible. It's, a, it's intimidating to be in this amphitheater playing Tony Hawk with my very dated skills, having you guys watch me. I'm trying to, trying to keep my cool, losing it. Uh, okay. Alright, here we go. Oh. Oh, landed one, okay. There we go. <sighs> what do I have? One more table? No! Oh my god, I thought I was wiping out for sure. over here. Tony, get that table! Oh, no, it isn't. Oh! That's a huge level. Okay. Uh, I got a combo, at least. I scratched one goal off. Alright, okay. You guys know I need some practice there. Um, we're gonna go check out the, uh, the other spit skate park. Here we go. Oh, yeah, right, it's not just... There's a whole other game in here. We'll check out the other uh, skate park in Tony 1, and then we'll uh, we'll check out Tony 2. Collect five toy robots. Thanks, hi there. Goals equal booyah. Corey Nolan, I... 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 I, I inch up. I slowly develop some pro gamer skills and then I review it and then I never play the game again. <laughs> what's up good to see you evil one the vibration function is new to these games now unless you count the N64 interesting okay cool um, yeah I I mean I, I installed it last night played a little bit crashed because I, I, I physically fell asleep I was playing uh, some Avengers late at, late at night last night as well, uh, and so I've only played. Oh, look at that! Giant V. Okay. Oh yes. Toy robot. Oh yes, that was cool. There's a K. I haven't played very much. One thing. Oh, there I am on my face. Okay. Oh. Oh, cool. This level's great. Oh. There's the 
and store. Alright, uh, going here, new robot. Robot. Maybe A. get this thing? I don't think so, right? No. A little tricky to get from up here. Alright, alright. Let's do this. Oh, come on, dude. I got the skate. I like crossing one of those things out. Alright, let's try that one more time and see how I do. Now I'm just gonna go nuts trying to pull some stunts off. added an animation where the guy turns around and shakes his fist at you. What are you thinking? <laughs> I can't concentrate on this. I'm so I'm so nervous just playing in front of all of you guys. All right, come on. Oh yes, I can't believe I'm still alive. Ouch, not really. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay, and I go right to the top, that's right. I can't get over this 24 sound effect, it's driving me crazy. Oh! Okay. So, clearly, I need to get much better. I know that. I will. Um, let's go out to Tony Hawk 2. Let's check out a little bit of that. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of characters. These are locked, okay. So, that's the look. How do I change the... Okay, there we go. There's Bob Burnquist. That's so cool. I love this... Uh, this digital... Uh, scrubbing that happens in between the, the characters. So I am very curious if Spider-Man is, is uh, playable, at least on the PlayStation version of the game, he should be playable in Tony Hawk 2, right? 
You could unlock him in Tony Hawk too, so I'm wondering if he's in there. That would be a nice bonus. I don't know all these characters. I don't know all these these uh, skaters. I always enjoy watching skaters do their stuff, but uh, uh, I don't know much about the culture or much of the, you know. Most of my sort of ways into skate skaters and, and the skating culture has been through Tony Hawk and the other games. Um, but I've been fortunate enough to meet a bunch of these guys over the years and interviewed them for the games that they've been in. And uh, Tony Hawk's awesome, and Bob Burnquist is awesome. Um, it's really incredible how much this this game just influenced the, this culture. You know, like the the uh, the cultural impact of this game had on the world. Uh, let's speed up a little bit, and we're gonna do um, manual balance. Will go up. That can always help. What else do I have? Rail balance. That'll help big time. And my ollies. And my hang time. There we go. Okay. Done. Okay. And you can create a park as well. There's multiplayer. This is dope. There is a lot of stuff. Okay. So how do I get to... Oh, of course, you can buy all the... Uh, the boards, right? And I've got a hundred bucks right now. Okay, I'll get into all that stuff when I sit in for uh, kind of the review uh, process and I record all of this stuff, which will be a little bit later today. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go back to... Uh, skate Tours. There we go. There we go. Let's Tony Hawk the hangar. All right, let's try this. Music is off um, because I'd get copyright flagged like crazy, but of course that is a massive part of the game, and it puts an enormous smile on your face. I had this blasting last night, and I was listening to Power Man 5000 and you know, a bunch of the other tracks that were like rooted in your psyche because you heard them so much as you're pressing that restart button over and over again. Um, I've played this level to death. Oh my god. But, again, I'm not good, so bear with me. <laughs> exhibit A. Oh, Exhibit B. Come on. Cool. Okay. Did I get that S? I did. Nifty. Okay, come on up. Let's go through the... Alright, let's... Uh... Oh! Sorry, that, that felt personal. Okay, let's get this. Oh, come on! I was going right for it. Woo! Okay. Oh, the chopper's taking off. Oh, I just have to get the T. Come on. Oh, come on! I should have straightened out. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh! Darn it. Come on, get it. Not going fast enough. Yes! Okay. Whew! Still alive. Okay. My guess is, um... One or two of you are absolutely crazy fantastic at this game, and it's driving you nuts how badly I'm playing. And I apologize. Ah. Good 
Good to see you, Graham. Thanks for che checking in. Thanks for tuning in, bud. Uh, Evan Verhees, imagine this game in VR. Oh, my God. That would be Barf Bag City. Uh, Forchi Forchi, if you double tap up before jumping, you'll get extra height. Okay, thank you. Let's try that. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah! Oh, that was an 11,000 point combo. Darn it. That was cool. Oh. So let's do a little uh, chat poll right here. Uh, how many votes for the Tony Hawk franchise and how many votes for the Skate franchise? Oh. Recognizing there would be no Skate without Tony Hawk. Ooh. And it's nuts that Skate 4 is coming too, right? Tony Hawk is seriously back. I think this game is going to do very well. And that'll lead to a new game, undoubtedly. And then Skate 4 is coming. So. Very interesting. the other barrel. Chloe, I need those blueprints! I can't stop saying that. There they are. Oh, okay. Didn't get them. Hey, Brian, thank you so much, man. Tony Hawk all day. Keep up the good work. Oh, you, you rock. Thank you. BMX triple X. Oh, man. That's some memories right there. The gameplay looks dark. Interesting, okay. Is that because of the use of the Unreal Engine, do you think? Or is it just the... The, um... This, sort of the production design concept? The, uh, art design of the game? It, I mean, it's certainly been updated. Okay, that was good. And one more. Oh, yeah, I... I I forgot, yeah, I get this copter going if I grind on the, uh, on the rotors. That's right. I can't remember where the other, uh, barrels are. Go there. Got him. Oh, did not get him. Nice. No! That looks so fancy with all the spins. No! Come on, dude! Oh. Let's try this again. Almost. Ah. Yeah, you really just you need to practice and you need to get the groove. There's no other way. Well, that's going to take off, okay. Alright. Oh! Tilt it back. There's the extra room in there, that's right, yeah. Totally nostalgia, right? Murdoch McCoy, absolutely. Yeah, it's nuts. I just did that uh, conversation. Thank you, Forchi Forchi. 
I could get to, I could get you making million point combos, no problem. I know. There's, everybody got so damn good at this game. It became this ritual. Uh, and of course, people were, you know, videotaping their TVs and posting things to the internet. And uh, you guys know the deal with me. Like, I, I play so many games because I'm, I'm making content all the time. So I would get, you know, and pass some levels. I'd get a feel for everything. And I'd review it. And then I'd be, uh, okay, I got to try something else. But I freaking adore this franchise. Especially these two games. You know, there's some good work in the other ones, too. But uh, these two games are seminal. And I, I, you know, more than anything, I'm just grateful Activision brought them back for us, you know, old timers, but also uh, um, for new people. You know, like, I, my daughter hasn't even seen this. She knows how excited I am that I'm playing it. But I, I can't wait to just sit down, give her the controller, and uh, let her make a skater and, and sort of get the controls. I mean, this is, and I can't believe Nintendo release is releasing Super Mario 64, man. This is incredible. Like, this is uh, like an education for somebody that's, you know, finding her way or finding his way into the video game universe right now. All the sons and daughters out there of us gamers, we're going to be able to say, well, this was very important. Check this out, you know, and watch them get addicted to this stuff too, which is very exciting. That Nintendo drop of that video drop today for the Mario 35, holy crap, that was incredible. I woke up to that. I didn't even know that it was happening. I woke up to uh, all of the news and my mind was blown. Ouch. That's what I need to get out of here. Tape. My kid, I keep having a reminder about this because, you know, like a lot of uh, young kids right now, she's addicted to Roblox. Roblox is cool, nothing against Roblox. But I keep saying, Ruby, you're the luckiest kid on earth. Do you know how many video games you have? at your disposal right now, how many eras of games you could just plunk down and play. And she does. Trust me, she does. But Roblox is the thing. I read that 50% uh, of every ki uh, of all kids up to 16 are playing Roblox, Roblox or have a, a Roblox account in North America or something like that. Some absurd amount. It's a massive success. And there are companies that are making millions of dollars or people developers making millions of dollars making games within Roblox that people are buying stuff with it's like created a whole economy I knew nothing about that because until my daughter kind of said everybody's playing Roblox I gotta play I don't know if any of you guys play Roblox any any experts out there it just freaks me out as a dad to um, oh I'm going to a different level uh, to think about any weirdos or stuff on uh, on that on Roblox. That's all I've heard, right? I mean, I knew it was a cool thing, and I've got friends that work there, and it's been successful. I know Tommy was getting into that fight about his sound effect and all that with Roblox, uh, but I hadn't ever really checked it out before until my kid was like, gotta play, gotta play. Um, but I keep fighting the good fight. I wanted to play some Super Nintendo and some classic 3DS. Hip Hop Dan says, Vic, what do you think about the uh, Game & Watch? Oh man, I uh, am super, super stoked for that. It's more of a novelty thing. It's almost a little bit like, I mean, it's cooler than what Sega did with those Game Gears, which that was very weird. But it's along those lines, you know? Like, it's, it's, um, it's a great way to honor a lot of history. And the industry is doing a very good job with that right now. All these mini systems, I love them. I know it ends up becoming a lot of plastic and a lot of you know, consoles hooked up to your television um, and having to manage all that. But I, I, you guys know that I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of preserving Trust classic me. games and, and, and uh, you know, letting us maintain um, some kind of access or connection to them and uh, like the Polymega that's just come in. So, you know, I'm, I'm fired up that Polymega system which lets you play all kinds of uh, classic disc-based games. That's why I was able to do the... Uh, uh, the Saturn review. I have a Saturn, but I, I don't have all of the cables and all the stuff. 
for that, and I don't want to go digging all that stuff up, and it's not going to look that great, you know, up to HDMI, but uh, the Saturn in the Polymega, the Saturn emulator in the Polymega, handled my discs just great, you know? Um, so, yes, long story short, super psyched about the, uh, the Game & Watch. And uh, yeah, very excited to play those those classic Mario games on that little device. And I, I like that it's been... It honors the past, but it updates it. I think that's pretty damn cool. Uh, but uh, I think the most exciting thing... About, I mean, I love the, uh, the, the Mario Kart Live announcement, but I think the... Uh, most exciting thing is that collection of classic 3D Mario games on the Switch. The Switch is what a sensational machine, but to have like so much history of incredible Nintendo content on one device that you can cruise around with. Nintendo just needs to kind of lick the uh, the Game Boy issue and get a lot of Game Boy stuff on there and some DS and 3DS stuff. And uh, I mean, the Switch is essentially. It is Nintendo, you know, like it's, it's represent, it represents so much of their, of their importance, their cultural importance. It's awesome. Okay, I talked a lot, and I fell a lot. Forchi Forchi, the key is not letting them play, then they want, ah, Forchi Forchi, spoken like a parent. That's very interesting. I'm surprised that Nintendo hasn't released a Wii Sports compilation or new title. Yeah, I think... That's a very good point, Abby, but I, I think with the Switch, they were trying to um, t go less in that sort of general audience kind of direction, because I think it kind of bit them in the butt with, with the Wii, but I wouldn't be surprised that that comes back, or some kind of uh, Wii, yeah, like Wii library. The Wii had so many excellent games, but you guys know what happened, right? A lot of people bought the Wii and only ever played Wii Sports. They never bought any other games, and... Uh, so Nintendo learned some valuable lessons there. They sold it with Wii Sports, and then a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the the seniors and the parents and the people that are sort of casual, casual, said, okay, well, I've got my Wii Sports machine. That's all I ever need to play. Let's go back to bowling. But it was great. It was awesome, and there was so many fantastic games. So yeah, that's a that's a system that would fare well. I mean, now that they've pretty much got every excellent Wii U exclusive on the Switch. It would be fun for them to go back to the Wii now, I think. Is this coming to the Switch? I don't, I don't even know if it is. I, I, I didn't check that. This would be a great game on the Switch. It's not going to look this good, but it would be a lot of fun. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4 Pro, by the way. should be streaming... At 1080p 60, oh, it's super fluid. I don't have HDR turned on because it uh, changes some of the, uh, the colors in the video when you don't, when you don't go to uh, an HDR source. Oh, okay. Could, could be yakking and pulling off all the stunts and all the moves. I can do... I can do neither. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm okay with talking, and I'm just edging up to being okay at playing this game. I've still got a ways to go until I'm okay. Uh, let's try that one more time. Thank you all for joining me, by the way. This is really cool. I, uh, I'm going to be streaming a little bit more because I'm getting flooded with codes and flooding with uh, flooded with software. I'm also trying to. I, I don't have like. I don't know how many of you are uh, regular viewers of of the channel and stuff, but we we had a whole setup at the uh, Vancouver Film School Cafe um, where we were streaming through uh, you know a system that was hooked up to multiple cameras and it was all kind of set up for me, so I didn't really have to think about pressing buttons or configuring streams and things like that. Um, so I'm not really set up for that at home. 
but I want to I want to get set up so I can um, do some cool things like I'd like to live play the Poly Mega because I know that there's a lot of interest and a lot of curiosity around that game or around that system um, so I'd like to do that but I'm also going to play a bunch of the uh, the other games that have come in and are about to come in um, so uh, yeah just watch my Twitter and, and uh, watch this channel subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll, I'll stream a lot of the content. Some of the stuff is uh, going to be early codes if I'm allowed to stream, and some of it's going to be um, games that I've been really wanting to play or get to or try to review uh, that I haven't had time to. Uh, but I'm feeling uh, like that that would be a very good use of, uh, of the channel and of my time for the next little while. Very poorly because I did lots of chatting. All right. Oh, that's the thing with this game is you can keep that even after the clock runs out. If you can keep your combos going, you can stay alive and earn the points. Oh yes. Oh, I'm... Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Oh, I need the board. No, I need the board. The board's part of the game. <laughs> oh, face plant. Uh, sometimes your fingers are just flying so fast you can't... You just don't know what you... It, it's like fully out of control. You just don't know where you're going to land and how this is all. You're just pressing every button. Not you, though. You're a pro, I know that. Woo! Oh. Nice. Oh, I tried to... ...kick flip as I was, as I was grinding. Let's see if I can pull off some stuff here for a bit. Nope. Come on. Oh, come on, dude! Oh, I can see myself landing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> No! Oh. Okay, alright. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to zen breathe. I'm going to try to get a couple more. Let's do this. Come on. Talk myself into this. I can do this. I can do it. Come on! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> alright. Oh! Ouch! Oh, that was good. <laughs> so I'm sure they've added all kinds of extra elements into these uh, into these stages for sure. Surprise us. I don't think they're they're one to one. I mean, I, I think all the stuff is one to one, and then they've added some new secrets. They must have. I'd actually love to. I, sh I think I'm going to reach out to the uh, the folks at Activision. I would love to talk to the developers of this game, of this remaster. 
I'd be very curious to find out how much they learned from what Neversoft put together in the original game, right? Because lots of people tried to imitate Tony Hawk, never could. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. There's nothing like being at altitude and knowing that you're going to fall on your ass. It's crazy. Alright, alright. Okay, I'm going to switch out to another level here. Tony Hawk Pro Skater is a masterpiece. You are absolutely correct, Robert. Uh, let's see what I got. Level select. Um, hangar, no. Nope. Um, do I have to quit to go to the other game? I think I do, don't I? I want to go back to the mall. Okay. You didn't like falling, dad dude? <laughs> yeah, falling sucks. I think we can all agree on that, right? Hey, I wonder... I'm going to try a little multiplayer. Let's see what happens. Oh, it might not, like... Uh, there might not be that many people on. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's see. And, and I, don't, I don't know if it's local multiplayer or online multiplayer. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Okay, it's looking for a match. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Marco A, good to see you. Uh, I am excited about Tenet, but I'm not going to go... Okay. Um, oh, there's somebody in here. I'm not going to go to a theater to go see it. I'm not, I'm not going to risk that, especially uh, in Vancouver cases are going up. So I don't know if what we were doing there, maybe just testing it out. Uh, but I can't wait to see Tenet. I, I think, um, okay, first one to reach the combo score wins. Okay. That won't do it. I said it and Tony Hawk said it. That's awesome. Oh, he's killing me. Oh! I'm pulling off the moves, I just can't stick them. Like that. I can stick to the walls. Oh, come on, Tony Hawk. You're better than this. Oh, he's got a big one coming. No, he dropped it too. It's a language, man. Nothing plays like this. And then when you get that groove and you start to really know how to play... So good. Candy. I'm probably, like, three days from that. Come on. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. An ambulance should show up. I should totally have a helmet on, I'll tell you that. I should have a helmet on just playing the game. Boom. No! Oh! There we go. How come I don't have... Oh, I have to get a combo? I don't, I don't know what's happening. My score's not going up. I don't know why. Is it to try to get to a... You have to get a 100,000 in your combo? Is that the only... Oh. No. Alright, you win. I don't even know how I got 7,900 points. 
it wasn't accumulating anything else after that. Alright. Okay, that was pretty cool, though. Hi, Vic. Have you thought about uh, streaming your time playing, preparing for reviews? Well, I'm kind of doing that right now. Uh, I'd have helmet hair if I did that. You're right, Video Masters. Um, hey, man. Uh, how's the night been? It's been good, but uh, it's still middle of the afternoon over here in Vancouver. Where's everybody uh, watching this from? That'd be fun to see. <laughs> Okay, so am I still... Oh, I got a whole bunch of people. Groovy, man. I know they added multiplayer to Tony Hawk, but... I, I imagine it was pretty clunky back in the... A uh... little bit of lag. Okay, time attack. Um, BC, Canada, we got Illinois, Edmonton, Phoenix, this is awesome, Seattle, Washington, you guys rock, thank you for watching, this is really sweet, couldn't think of a better way to spend the afternoon, this guy has got some awesome hats in the back right there, playing Tony Hawk, What did he say? Make him feel like he has to go poo? No! Oh, look at those. Those guys are in the 50s already? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes it's just like a, a slow motion car crash. Okay. Okay. I got a couple things. I'm not dead last yet. <laughs> now I'm in dead last. Oh my god. Oh, come on. This is cool. This is really cool. This might end up becoming one of my favorite modes in the game. Just the idea of... Uh, having live competition happening at the same time? That's cool. So, for those that have just tuned in, um, at the beginning of the year, I think I made a video, I can't remember which one it was, I should look back in the, uh, in the vids, but I, I, I was basically praying to the video game development gods that they remake Tony Hawk 1 and 2. And voila, they did! Um, so I'm super excited to finally be playing this game, which is just awesome. It's been a lot of fun so far. And then, um, I haven't got my muscle memory. I'm still learning it. I'm still learning the language again, or relearning the language again. I got this last night, so I'm providing you a litany of excuses for why I'm terrible, um, and hopefully you'll politely accept them. Okay, here we go. But, oh yes, I was there on the first go-round, and Tommy and I would do these things every year, and Tony too, for sure, that was the one. It was this level, I think, the uh, school level. 
recognizing how how big this game was. Oh! Oh! My fingers were flying. Man, it would be fun to review these things with Tommy again, but of course we can't because he's he's on in television. So he can't really be talking about a, a PlayStation game right now or a Xbox game. But there, there's, you know, all of these remakes are coming back. It's it's awesome. Oh, I'm terrible, guys. I apologize. Hey, Indiana Jones over there. What? Oh. Indy! Oh, yeah, I can do the manuals. Right, left, right. Oh. DT Drew did it again. Sam, I am one, one, one. That is correct. He's very busy. I mean, I can't imagine the to-do list on launching a machine, working with all those developers. I don't know if you guys watched that last in television video. It was an hour something long or more, and they had developers all over the damn planet. It was pretty impressive. I liked all those uh, those live check-ins. That was cool. What's a more? Who's a more seasoned veteran, Rod? Uh, Rodney Mullen or Victor Lucas? Lee Joes. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it was especially cool to see you and Tommy on level 857 last week. Took me back to the G4 Judgment Days. Judgment Day days. Uh, Hip Hop Dan. Yeah, that was, that was a blast. Those guys are great. I love chatting with Tommy and... and uh, I think Tommy called it, I and mean, it's been a long time since he and I were both interviewed together on something. And that was a blast. It was, uh, I think it was like a two hour stream. It was really fun. I'm in the school. Oh my god. I can't even remember if this was in the muscle thing. So good. Oh, and I'm so bad. <laughs> Did he? Oh, he pulled off some million move combo that quickly. That's incredible. I clearly have to load up the. Uh, I guess that's what I will do in my review. I have to load up Tony Hawk One and Two on the Poly Mega and. Uh, play the old PlayStation games. And do a little compare and contrast. Right, Joel P? It's it's totally a trip in the Wayback Machine, man. I love it. Sometimes it freaks me out that, you know, I've, I've been reviewing games for 25 years, and... Like they're remaking the games that were the hot thing when I started, like with Final Fantasy VII this year, and yeah, there's new ones happening all the time, and this this thing, of course. But it's like, yeah, why, like why wouldn't you go back? I'm in the lead. What? Why wouldn't you go back and and uh, look at these masterpieces, you know? And and oh right, we're supposed to. This is kind of like a Splatoon thing. That's awesome. This is such a great game. Oh my god. I think we're going to see a lot more. Like, I, this is going to do well. And it's not just nostalgia, it's like great game making. Why not go back to that? I don't know what I'm supposed to do, guys. I know what, I know what I'm not supposed to do is fall on my face. But I'm very good at that. 
Look at that. That's some good falling. What am I trying to do? Oh, I'm, am I supposed to press a button? I don't even know what the hell. How do I how do I make things the color? Guys. I don't know, guys. Ouch. Is it do I Oh, right. Okay. I get it. So if I pull off a trick, look at that. That was cool. Oh, right, and if it's a bigger score, then I get it. I get I remember. Yes. Came in third, guys. Came in third. I think uh, I'm going to bow out of multiplayer at this point. I'm going to take my third, and I'm going to hop out. <laughs> and we're going to leave it at that, because that's, that's a good memory. Uh, okay, so let's, let's go back and see what else we got here. Remaking games and remaking movies, we are getting older and our games are getting newer. Well, yes, Marco A. Well, here's the thing about remaking games, and you can be cynical about it, and there's things to be cynical about, for sure, because we love fresh ideas. But when these people were making these games, they didn't have the technology to necessarily um, keep pace with their ambition or their dreams or their, even their design documents. So for them to... Uh, or, well, it's new developers now, too. That's what's interesting is that they're young teams or young developers that grew up on these games and, and are honored to go back. It's like the Crash Band or Crash Team Racing last year was so fun until they added all the BS microtransaction stuff. But um, they they couldn't hit the highs that they wanted to when a lot of these games first came out. And they were such fantastic ideas that they deserve... Oh, I'm playing multiplayer again. They deserve the uh, um, the redo, you know? They deserve that... Oh, cool. I haven't seen this level. They deserve that opportunity to go back and and uh, re-examine these classics. And then there's a whole new audience out there that, you know, might have heard about these things from older brothers or sisters or parents. And they get to see these games for the first time. It does... It opens a door, right? The conversation is like, okay, well, what what ones do we want now? And what makes a good remake? So a lot of people didn't like all of the changes that Square Enix made to uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake. I love that game, by the way. Ouch! I am kicking ass on that other guy who is apparently falling asleep, but that's okay. I'm going to take it. If I'll take the W. Oh, no, they're trying. So they're learning the language. I have empathy, I know. But, <laughs> ouch. Oh, that was cool. I kicked off the wall. The thing I like about games like this is that they're like kick-around games, you know, like SSX as well, like, they're fun just, they're fun just to, to play, they're just fun to just turn on and not necessarily get the objectives, you're just going for points, or you're just skating around, it's kind of what has always thrilled me about the Spider-Man games, they're just fun to, they're just fun to explore, they're just fun to move, move around in Fighting on a skateboard just makes so much sense, doesn't it? Woo! Yeah, oh! Everybody got a screen cap of that? <laughs> Pat Wing was the winner! Woo! There's gonna be a parade tomorrow. Woohoo! Um, let's see, I'll read a couple comments here. Uh, Prin says, a lot of people who grew up with something want every detail of Remix to be identical to the original, but I like added content or minor changes as long as the heart of the game feels the same. 
Uh, I totally concur with that. And, you know, it's it, like I just reviewed the Mulan movie, which I really like. The review's up on the channel if you haven't checked that out. But, um, you know, and I know that Disney's got a problem selling that thing to people that already have Disney Plus and stuff. But um, the thing that I, I think I like the most about it is that it's... Uh, it's not the animated movie again, you know. It's like a, it's its own thing, you know. And that was my issue with uh, the Aladdin movie. It was trying too hard to be the the animation. It felt like the the shadow and the ghost of Robin Williams was all over that. And um, even though it was very Will Smithy, but I thought the opportunity was to make something that felt much different with Aladdin. And uh, it made me miss the animated movie. And the same thing with The Lion King. Um, but Mulan, like both the animated film and this new film, have their own inherent value. And I think that's that's very key to remake of classic games. They have to do that as well. Also, the freaking bull. <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome. Guys, how am I winning? What is happening? Ouch. That's cool. Oh, look at this. How many rads am I allowed to say in my review? When I review this. And are there other terms? Ouch. Uh, I, I can't remember the last game where I got... Trampled by a bull twice in a level. Oof. Okay, here we go. The kid is winning another one. Oh, I'm not a kid anymore, and I didn't win anymore. Oh, am I still going? I'm going. Oh, Stubes is the winner. Oh, I did all right, though. Okay. Okay, let's pop out of here. Um, I don't know if that has any... Uh, let's see. Govic, Adrian, Leon, thank you. Time, uh, times infinity, I'm allowed to say rad. Times infinity, thank you, self-destruct. Uh, scrubular and rad, dude. I'm allowed to say that, too. With all of this bull pucky lying around, this is really a splat fest. Yes, it is. Uh, from Sam I am 111 Oasis Beyond. I just watched Bill and Ted, so rock on! Bill and Ted was really fun. Really fun movie. Totally charmed the hell out of me. Okay, so back. Back. Skate tours. Um, hangar and school. I want to go back to the mall. Let's play a little bit more of this. I've finally gotten into his flow state. I'm tr I'm getting there, right? I'm edging. Edging up. Let's see. I'll read a couple more things. There are a lot of comments in here, guys. Nice to see everybody. I work in the gaming field now. I'm actually a part of a AAA title that's coming out. It's a dream come true. Watching you and Tommy on G4 with EP really was a huge part of my love for gaming. Steeler fan 310 That is so sweet. And thank you for writing that. That's amazing. Um, and that, that is a, a crazy byproduct of uh, what I've been able to do with my career, you know. I've heard from game makers that, that uh, well, and, I, and I'm old, but I've heard from game makers that have said, I grew up watching you, man, and I, because you were visiting game studios, I wanted to be a game maker. And that was never in my mind when I started the show, you know, but it became this this amazing byproduct, this amazing thing that happened with, with EP, and I'm, I'm so, I'm terrible. I can't talk and do this at the same time. And I'm so, so happy that that became the case, you know, and so proud that our show was able to do that for people. And I honestly, I miss it so much now. I, I mean, I'm not, I miss making the show, but I'm, like, with the full team and everybody, um, and obviously traveling and all that, but I, I miss that that was our cool calling, you know, like, we were really out there with the developers and showing people the uh, the world and how games are getting made. And, and, uh, it's just that that kind of content's just not being done. It's just not being done. So um, I'm hustling. I'm trying to, 
you know, bring uh, Electric Playground back to a, uh, something that might be familiar for folks. But I, I, I really think it's important to, um, spotlight the developers. That's why I spend so much time with putting interviews together with game makers and content creators. Focus on that creative spirit, man. It's what helps us enjoy our lives, right? These people with amazing ambitions and crazy dreams. They don't know if they're going to work out or not, but they, they try to entertain us. I admire that like crazy. Oh, yes. Stop the chatter. Pull off something here. Oh. Okay, I'll take a little, uh, read some, some comments break. But thank you for that, Steeler Fan 310 That's very sweet. Uh, paused. Well, at least this game has, uh, has a hot take, and all the original skaters have been aged up to their current age, so 40s and 50s for this remake. That's cool. You mentioned Tony Hawk 1 and 2 needs a, a remake during your top 10 remakes video. Evil 1, thank you very much. And that was this year, I believe, right? That was at the beginning of this year, which feels like the longest year in human history. 2020 feels like... Uh, I remember that at the beginning of the year, I put a... Um, I don't know, 20 things to be excited about in 2020 video. And then, of course, none of that shit has happened because this year has just been poison. Um, and who knows? Uh, what, a, what a crazy year. Uh, Self-destruct. Vic, you nailed it, man. Oh, thank you, man. That's very sweet. I don't know what I nailed. I think I nailed my face on the concrete a lot. That's nice. Uh, Vic's a man, so not an animal. No, I don't know what that means. Please uh, alert Vic that he is my spirit animal. Oh, I get it. Acnodis. Acnodis? Acnodesis. Acnodesis, I think. Uh, a tanuki suit. That's just a dad dude is just uh, spouting out tanuki suit. Just dropping that in there. Vic, do you still play inverted? And who else in the chat plays like that? Lee Joes is asking, yeah, hell yeah, I'm an inverted guy. And every time I get a game demo of uh, something that's, you know, not released or in development, that's the first question I ask. And you should see the look of concern on the person that's demoing uh, demo, demoing the game for me or showing it to me. It's like, uh, no one's asked that today, uh, I think. I, I don't I don't know. And then they run off and they usually find somebody and they ask them if they can invert but usually someone thinks about that and I can still play my games inverted. Um, Murdoch uh, Moni says, can Netflix put Batman Superman animated series together already? Um, that would be awesome. I, I, I don't know what I could do to help with that, but um, if you want, I can, I can, uh, I can shoot a, an email off to Kevin Conroy. Should I do that? <laughs> See if Kevin can make that happen. Uh, EPN Movie Club was fun. It'd be fun to have a virtual version. Uh, Mark Away, I dig that. Um, it's just so hard to coordinate schedules with everything, right? Like, the, uh, you know what happened with Bill and Ted? This is amazing. The studio sent me a code that I could only watch within a three-hour time frame. So I had to turn on the device and then watch it and... Uh, and it had to be started and finished within that time frame. It, there was no there was no wiggle room with that, and so they, all the studios are trying to figure out what to do in this kind of uh, a scenario. But we could maybe do um, a Netflix watch along or something like that. Let me think about that. That's a very good idea, Marco. A. Um, I don't know how we would do that. Maybe through the Discord. We have a Discord server. Don't ask me how to get there. Every time I log into Discord, it's just completely baffling to me because, you know, I'm heads down trying to play these games and cut the, these reviews and, and see all these things that i got to do. And so Discord freaks me out. But we have one. Someone hopefully will put it into the chat. Uh, but that could be pretty fun. I, I'd be worried about, I don't know, is, do, do copyright flags happen if you go audio on Discord or something? like? I don't know. I don't know what happens there. But that'd be pretty fun. Evil One says, so thank you for you. So thankful for you. That's that's amazing. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Um, you can stream the movies on Discord. 
do something with Tenet. I, I don't know if I'm going to get Tenet as a code, but I, I, I suspect not for a while. And I'm not going to go to the theaters to go and see it. Um, oh, and Scott Taylor, thank you so much. Would love to see you interview Rodney Mullen, both survivors and thrivers through radically changing industries. Keep it up, Vic. You demand. Um, that's a great suggestion. That is an awesome suggestion. And, and listen, um, uh, you guys can always shoot me a tweet at Victor underscore Lucas on Twitter if, if you guys hit the Twitters. Uh, if you've got ideas for people that you would like me to reach out to for Vic's Basement, I see all that stuff, and uh, I'm always putting you, you know, feelers out and concepts out. I'm really trying to make the, the podcast, uh, you know, like I think I surprised everybody when I talked to Grace Randolph, but I really am a fan of her work, and I really respect how much effort she puts into her videos. And it was really fun for me to have that conversation, and I'm really trying to do that as much as possible with Vic's Basement, is to have... Um, some nice lengthy sit downs with people that uh, uh, I, I don't know inspire me or I, I really am impressed with their output or, or um, their worldview or the work that they do and it's going to be mostly from the video game space but um, every once in a while I'll, I'll definitely put in some other folks in there as well but it's really it's, it's been a blast to relaunch Vic's Basement and uh, it's been really wonderful to read the feedback and see all that stuff um, I shouldn't have waited so long. It's a great, it's a great thing to put out there every week. You know, it's really fun to talk with these folks. I'm hosting an event in Vancouver. Um, it's a, it's going to be a virtual event next month. I think the announcement went out today, but it's uh, the External Development Summit. And uh, as part of that, I think what's going to happen, I'm interviewing some of the speakers, some of the keynote speakers. So I think as part of that, um, I'm going to be able to put some of that content into Vic Spaceman as well. And um, there's some really incredible people that are coming uh, for that, or, but they're not going to come. It's all virtual. Every, everything's virtual now, but there, there should be some really nice interviews in Vic's Basement for that. Oh, thank you, Robert Turner. Vic's Basement Live. Uh, I have got to figure out my live streaming setup. I, can, I don't want to just turn on my computer and, and go live. Um, I want to go through OBS and all that stuff. And of course, I always relied on, uh, on Blake, but we're not working together right now. So I always relied on Blake to kind of put all that stuff together and, uh, uh, you know, make it go live for me so I didn't have to think about that. Uh, and I haven't set that up in my, um, in my basement. <laughs> I've just been focused on cutting stuff and putting stuff out that way. And, and uh, my streams have been through my PC directly or uh, uh, without going through OBS or my PlayStation 4 directly without going through OBS. I still have to kind of learn how to do the stream stuff, but I'm, I am going to figure that out. And if I do figure that out, then I'll, I will um, attempt to do uh, at least one or two Vic Spaceman lives or some live interviews. That'd be great. Uh, let's see right here. My grandfather had a bumper sticker that said, I may be getting old, but I refuse to grow up. That's awesome. That seems like uh, right along the lines of play forever right there, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'll, I'll read one more, and then I'll jump back in. Let's see. Um, I'm scrolling up a little bit here. Well, this was a good one. Uh, Murdoch McCoy is, I'm killing time with Desperados 3 and Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. Desperados 3, I uh, got a great hands-on last year and I've touched it. I've got it on my PC. That's one that I want to stream. Um, it's slower, but it's such a cool game. And uh, I don't think enough people are talking about it. It's a great uh, strategy Wild West game. It's a very, very cool game. Beautiful art in that title. Okay, let's play... Uh, Let's play a little Tony Hawk. Let's jump back in here. Okay, here we go. I want to see if Hawk is worth it, David Perry says. Okay, let's see. Now we'll, we'll play the game and we'll, we'll give it a shot. Um, what level am I on? Oh, them all. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to do that again. Press the X button too often. Okay, here we go. No. Oh, come on. 
No. Terrible. Oh, guys. I forgot everything I learned. Now's the time for somebody in the chat to explain that I'm, I'm still learning how to relearning how to play this game. For all the new people that have jumped on. Whoa! I don't even know how I did that. Sweet. Okay, okay. Oh, come on. This is not a great demo. Apologize. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my goal is to just somersault backwards through every one of those signs. Okay. Oh, I tried that manual. Terrible. Okay, I'll try it again. I was terrible, still had a good time. That's the joy of this game. Oh. <laughs> it's all going according to plan. Ouch! I wonder if they put a, uh, a blood mode in this. Oh! It's like I kicked my board away. Sweet. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh. That was okay. All right, I got a, uh, a high combo. And I got a high score, okay. Um, let's try a different level. I got the warehouse. Did I complete the warehouse? No, I did not get the six score. Back to the uh, have to quit. I guess so.
<laughs> the Ace of Spades. Yeah, the music's amazing in this game. I, I, you know, I'd get flagged like crazy if I had the music up. But um, I'll be playing with the music up when I'm playing for the review. Uh, okay, so we're going to skate tours. Let's let's do rank. Oh, okay, everything's out. Okay, fantastic. Should we check out um, Roswell? Which which one do you guys want to see? Burnside, okay. Here we go. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I did a little bit of hangar. I'll do San Francisco next. Oh man, this is amazing. Wow. Oh. Come on, dude. Was it raining in the original game? Was that part of the graphics? I can't remember. Oh, I landed totally wrong there. So moody. And so hardcore that somebody would go out there in the pouring rain like this. I know I'm terrible, guys. I can only say I'm sorry so many times. Say it again anyway. A little Raiders of the Lost Ark line right there for you. There we go. Oh. Okay, let's pop into... Um, San Francisco. That was terrible. Um, streets. There we go. Ah, oh, thank you, Jazzadrin. Portal player, um, I, you ask, do I miss being on TV or enjoy internet more? I like being on both. Um, I like that television reaches a whole audience that may not know much about this world and these games and the people that make them. And that was certainly what we were doing with uh, our programming on television. Um, but I also like the interactivity and the immediacy of being on the internet. So, ideally, uh, I would have um, the budget to be able to employ a bunch of people and we make content that goes everywhere. Because I think that's, that's the secret. And trust me, I was trying to... When we were partnered with Rogers, who was a fantastic partner, um, but they were, they were very traditional media, and I was really trying to kind of... Uh, help them um, see the opportunities with what we were doing with EP. And uh, 
they did to a degree, and they were certainly fantastic partners, but um, they were not set up to be like a YouTube streaming television company. And uh, they were very much like every media organization out there, challenged by the threat of digital. I'm about to get run over! Oh my god. Um, and you know, and that's that things change in the world. All media has shifted and changed. But yes, I mean, ideally, in an ideal world, I'd have a, a solid team of fantastic creators like I was able to put together before. We'd be making television content, which would air on TV, and we'd be making a ton of uh, um, internet video content that would air not just on YouTube, but all uh, across all of the different services out there. Um, it's, uh, it's challenging to find investment for that level of ambition now because everything is so fractured every there are a million there were a million channels when we were making tv there are a billion channels now so i get it but i still see a great gaping hole and a great big absence uh for the type of content that we became known for nobody does what ep did so in in that i see tremendous opportunity I sure miss working every day with my team, though. That's definitely... It, you know, it, it's... When you put together an incredible group of people like I was able to... Uh, I mean, I knew how special they all were. That's why I hired them. Uh, but when you don't see them and you don't get to work with them, and I'm proud of, you know, every one of them, and they're all doing cool things. But it's uh, it's hard to not not collaborate with them. It's hard to not create things with them, you know? I know what they're capable of. I think this is my favorite level. I can't wait to get to uh, to this game for real and see all the challenges on it. I am loving this game. I mean, I think that's pretty clear, but <laughs> uh, I, I'll have some more thoughts. You know, when I can like really just sit down and put some put some thoughts together around playing the game and and uh, doing the progression and all that, but and blasting the music. But I am totally impressed. They did not. They did not um, squander this opportunity. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm gonna switch to one more level, but. Uh, Thank you very much to iBuy Digital. Dude, that is just so sweet. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Uh, long live G4 TV, Murdoch McCoy says. Uh, Jazz Adrin says, Well, Vic, your channel on YouTube is truly blossoming, so hopefully your subscriber count grows and grows, and you have a bigger net of viewers going forward. So I appreciate that very much. Um, you know, I... I I love what I get to do, and, uh, you know, you guys know, and we just focus on putting content out there and letting people kind of find it, and I don't spend tons of time um, banging the drum, letting people know that we're putting the, this material together, so I appreciate all of your help in spreading the word out there, you know, I really, uh, that's how EP started, honestly, we didn't have a marketing budget when we launched EP as a TV show, we kind of let people find it. And certainly some of our broadcast partners put promo material and stuff together, like little commercial bits and things on TV. But um, we never had a huge budget to kind of tell people that we were out in that space and out, out doing that stuff. It was really word of mouth. And uh, that's, that's what's been going on 
uh, with the YouTube channel for sure. And a lot, a lot of the comments, a lot of the feedback is, holy crap, you're still doing this? Oh my God, EP is still alive? Oh, dude, I, I thought you were done after G4. And it's like, well, why would I stop doing this? I love this. I, I was there before G4 and I, I have been doing this long since G4, you know? And now G4 is coming back. And I'm playing Tony Hawk again. My my, what is my world? What is my life? It's very weird. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate your support massively, and I you know I love your feedback and your comments, and and um, uh, I love you know I love that you're there. I wouldn't be doing this if you weren't. So I appreciate it very much. Uh, that Nintendo Direct today. Can't wait to play Sunshine again. Yes, me too. Seven 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 easy. I have not played that game since it launched and it absolutely blew me away such a good game uh as long as you keep doing what you're doing we will be here that's so sweet thank you uh can i stream high heat baseball 2003 i'll only stream that if it's on the intellivision um i hope that's really portland oregon and not portland maine i adrian leon says i think it's it's portland oregon um the groans and grunts are great. I like when it sounds like Tony Hawk. That was uh, Addy Singh saying, "I like I like the uh, too extreme." Ah, that's a, that brings back something. The extreme games, that first extreme games on the PlayStation One when that launched, that was a launch title, and that freaking blew me away. It was so cool. I I remember just being blown away by all of the different uh, events in there. It was all in three D. Uh, it was I mean it was very blocky looking, but it was so cool. Um, but yeah, the grunts and groans in this game when Tony Hawk is doing that, they're, or your your skater is doing that, it's awesome. But there's also these sounds where it's like, what are you doing, dude? Like why why are you letting me fall like that? Wicked. Okay, let's let's check out one more um, one more uh, map, and and I think that's gonna be it. So you guys pick it. Which one do you want me to skate on right now? You want me to be Mullen? Okay, I'll change my skater. You guys pick my... Uh, how do I... Ch can I change? There's a lot in here I, I don't know. Like, I haven't really dug around in any of this stuff. Skater. Tricks. Stats. Okay. I think I have to go back to the beginning and pick my skater. Warehouse. No, I did that a whole bunch. Uh, Hangar. Nope, did that a whole bunch too. I think I'll do Roswell from uh, Joey Park Hill. Okay, but I'm going to change my character. Um... Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. And skate tours. We'll go to Roswell, New Mexico. Here we go. D coffin. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you very much. You rock. Okay, here we go. You guys are very kind, and uh, you know, it's clear that um, streaming some of these games that are just about to come out seems like something I should be doing a lot more of because uh, I, I think my reviews serve a great purpose and I, I love doing them. They're a lot of fun to do and they're not, I'm not stopping. But I also think that you guys just want to see uh, see these games in action for yourself a little bit before you make your decision about whether you're going to pick it up or not. I get it. I understand. It's, it is a different thing though. I think, you know, I hope you guys can appreciate it. It's a different thing to stream a game and to try to play it and also to communicate. Um, with you, which is really fun, than it is to um, to like objectively look at the game and try to 
you know, put your thoughts around it so that you can then go and shoot a review. What I have found, though, is when I have cut reviews um, using footage of me streaming, those end up being really fun reviews because there's a, uh, a, you know, like a recorded history of that moment. And the one that I always think of is that Resident Evil 7 um, virtual reality stream that I did where I was complete, I, I was scared shitless. And it was, it really happened and I was really, really scared. And I was able to cut in that moment, or it was Blake that cut it, but it was able to cut in that moment of, uh, of sheer terror. And it, it helped to kind of underscore the value of that game. So it's really fun. The challenge is, is uh, scheduling, but um, I, I think for the next couple of months at least, because we're in the game avalanche season, I'm going to try to stream a lot more often. This one's kind of cool, but it's just, uh, I'm sure there's, I, I don't know if I can get in here. Yes, I can. Okay, now yeah, this is much better. Oh, yeah. Yes, in addition to all the classic challenges, there's some uh, some new stuff that you're trying to hit. So you're getting stickers and rewards and you're leveling up. I don't know if I'm leveling up in the free skate and stuff. I don't know. That's cool. I wonder if these are all the, the actual athletes, the actual skaters that have been recorded. So much personality. God, it's the charming, charming franchise. <laughs> Woo. Did you guys play with digital controls or analog controls? I can't even remember what year the first one came out. I don't, I don't remember if, it, if the analog controller was out by that point. But I'm curious if... Because, you know, even after the analog controller came out, there were, I think it took a lot of us a little bit of time to get used to playing everything with the analog controls. I remember it, reviewing um, racing games with Tommy quite often, and we'd gotten so used to playing Ridge Racer with digital controls, it took us a long time to... Oh, that's so cool. Um, took us a long time to get used to it, uh, analog racing. Oh! I played analog controls, Joey Parkhill says. Sweet, if that game got remade, uh, I, I, I'm a Vic. You finished the making of, uh... You filmed the making of a Metal Gear Solid 4 and Arkham Asylum, didn't you? When I first heard about that, it blew my mind. I sure did, Jazzadrin. Those were incredible experiences. I wish... I, I mean, that's, that's some of the stuff that we... Uh, that, that's part of why the rundown isn't happening right now, guys. The, the rundown is kind of a pricey thing for us to produce every day because it, it's, a, it's a, a real expense to get it made. Um, and so I was sort of... Because uh, YouTube is, is not bringing us enough money that we can hire the people and, and sort of run the production the way that we want to. So I was augmenting expenditures and, co and costs on that by doing documentaries and behind-the-scenes stuff. We'd done some work with Nintendo where we were uh, doing EP segments and they were, they were being uh, presented in front of uh, movie screens with Cineplex. Uh, we did the behind-the-scenes stuff on the, the last Tomb Raider game, and there were other things that kept popping up. And so we'd use some of the um, that sort of for-hire contract work, which I wasn't out there actively chasing, but it was just happening because we're constantly producing things. But of course now with COVID, none of that is happening. So there's really just the revenue that we're making from ads and, and stuff off of YouTube to kind of outfit the, uh, the outlay that we have um, to make stuff, so I had to make the call on, on pulling back on uh, the rundown. But that is 
what I really, really enjoy, you guys know, I mean, the thing that I, I love the most about EP is the getting out there and, and seeing how this stuff gets made and meeting the people that make all of this stuff and going behind the scenes in all these studios. And it's been my great privilege I've been able to do it for so long. And of course, that led to lots and lots of um, fantastic documentary opportunities. And I'm so, it's, I'm still in disbelief that we worked on Arkham Asylum and I was in the booth with Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy as they were recording their stuff and interviewed uh, Paul Dini, uh, you know, about his work on the game and spent time at Rocksteady and this was all, I knew that was going to be the game of the year that year, by the way. When I saw that at E3, I was like, that is not just because I'm a Batman nerd, but that game was just so special. So it was an ama amazing treat to be able to do that and then the Metal Gear Solid one was a tremendous project. It was huge. One, probably one of the biggest docs that we got to work on. Spent a ton of time in Japan with the Kojima team. Um, but uh, did a whole lot more with that. Interviewed a guy named Brian, uh, Peter Singer, who is um, an analyst, one of the fellows in uh, DC, works in the, in the political world. He's also an author. And um, interviewed him about automated uh, weaponry. And I, I found him online. I, I was looking for um, uh, basically military experts because um, Kojima's uh, camp was interested in having kind of some outside analysis on um, uh, the, the reality of uh, artificial uh, robots and things like that in warfare. It's kind of part of the, that universe. So I found Peter Singer and we went to Washington DC and interviewed him and did a whole bunch of other stuff. But that was awesome. Did the making of Fallout 3. Um, but a lot of that stuff is kind of done internally now and it's or it's it's very pulled back and there's still some really good stuff getting made but I find that there is less of the like I, I don't know if you go back and watch our making ofs like we did the making of Golden Axe and the making of uh, Tron Evolution um, did the making of Iron Man and the Hulk with, when Sega was publishing those games so I interviewed Robert Downey Jr. and Stan Lee and uh, did all kinds of awesome things with that stuff but um it, when we were making them, because we were EP, because we, we were, you know, an outside editorial group, there was a lot more kind of, you know, like, we, we wanted to investigate a bit more. And now I think what, what a lot of these docs that I see are, um, they're a lot more kind of like talking about the features and, and they're, they're selling it, you know, which is always a part of the doc anyways. Like, they, they, obviously they want people to be excited, but... I, I feel like what we were able to do is kind of reach into the into these studios and really get to know the people a little bit more, make them feel a little bit more comfortable, and um, it's a great privilege to do that. I want to do it more, and hopefully uh, that picks up again. But I think what happened is a lot of YouTube and Twitch streams started to happen, and developers just started to make their own stuff with with their own internal video cameras and things like that, and. Um, it's different when you're inside making your own video content. It's it's always got a an agenda, you know. But when you're an outside group trying to figure out how did this happen and where did this and where did you get the idea for that, it's a it's a different deal. So I I love that. I loved obviously making daily, you know, uh, mag magazine show type content. But I also love that we get to do these long form docs. And uh, I sure hope we get to do more of those. And I can't wait to start visiting studios again, man. I miss it so much. Uh, let's go to Marseille, France. Let's go check this out. Chris Dibburn says he uh, needs me and Blessing uh, Jr. and uh, Greg Miller to uh, start a weekly show. Those guys are cranking. Every time Greg and I see each other, and I love those guys, I'm a huge fan of the kind of funny people. Um, and I, they've had me on a bunch of times when I've been down in San Francisco, and I love it. And they've been in a bunch of our videos, and they're so rad. But we always, we always lament that we are not in each other's cities because we would be um, collaborating a hell of a lot more. And we... We both know that, uh, but they're they're freaking busy. They got a million podcasts, and they have lots of people coming through. 
I'll ha I'll definitely have those guys in content soon, and you know I presume I'll I'll end up in their stuff somewhere down the line. But uh, I get I, I you know I, I see um, a lot of similarities in the way that they're building up their community and their uh, their group, their pod, in, in the way that we were able to build EP and and, and the reviews group. You know. So I, I know a lot of what they're going through, and, and uh, I'm incredibly impressed by them and proud of them, and uh, a huge fan of them. They're good people, and they're making really fun stuff, and they really care about it. And they're having great success, and I'm so I'm so happy for them. This is a great level. Does anybody know if Spider-Man's in this game? Has that been confirmed? Has anybody beat the thing? Unlocked it already? I don't think they have the same codes and all that stuff that they had in the original game. I'm starting to feel like a lot more confident on the board for sure. I mean, I've got a long way to go here, but as I fail, but it's starting to feel a little bit more like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, there's still a huge element of like, yeah, press every button, move the controller in every direction. Oh my God, I landed that. But I'm, I'm definitely finding the groove a little bit more, which is great. All according to plan. Oh, I held on a little too long. I'm also understanding why I'm screwing up a lot more, which is part of the learning. Oh, they really should have made um, like a Mario skating experience, just like this. I wonder if this is coming to Switch and that will be the thing that they'll do. Stick, stick the Mario characters in. Oh! Skateboarding's in the um, Sonic and Mario at the uh, Olympic Games, which was actually surprisingly fun, that last one. Yeah! Okay. Oh. Oh, I love working with Johnny Jazadrin. I've been... He, he, I, I don't want to bother him for that. You know, I'd love to have him in Vic's basement, but, you know, he's he's got a lot going on right now, you know? And, um... I know he started his his video content up again, and, and uh, he works really hard to get his stuff going. And now you know he's he's still dealing with some health stuff, and he's he's got he's got his kid, and you know they've got a whole new routine. And I, like I've been there, you know they're 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 months into this, um, but we will definitely collaborate again. We miss each other. We talk to each other almost every week, um, and we lament this crazy year you know like it's just been I haven't I haven't physically seen him since December since uh, yeah since last year I haven't physically seen him because he's been he's been quite sick and then with, with this damn uh, pandemic like I don't want to well I, I've been I've been doing a pretty good job at uh, like wearing masks all the time for sure, but also uh, social distancing. And I've been invited to some stuff, and just I just don't want to take chances, you know. Um, I don't want to get it, and I don't want to spread it. And um, I certainly would hate to know that I caught it somehow, and then I meet up with uh, Johnny and his family and and their kid. Got I mean that, that that's my greatest fear. That would be just the worst, you know? Such a crazy time. But yes, we will collaborate again for sure. 
Uh, I'll have Bear on again soon. Jose's coming up. I don't know how many of you guys are uh, just jumping on, but uh, Jose's uh, going to be on the, the podcast this week. Um, I think I will uh, put it up on the weekend. I'm going to put some thoughts together around Tony Hawk and the Avengers tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll make it one video or two videos. But this was awesome, guys. This was uh, a lot of fun to stream with you, and clearly you guys were all interested in it. Um, stay tuned to my Twitter, because I'll be posting some other stuff that, that's in my queue of, of games that I, I want to uh, uh, check out. And uh, I think it works pretty well if I've got a bunch of choices to um, do like a Twitter poll, and then kind of let you determine what you would like to see streamed. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do this more often. This is really, really fun. And you guys are, are very kind and generous not to make fun of me and my my terrible skateboarding skills. Ah! As I crash. Okay. Uh, I think that is going to be it for this stream. Um, but uh, for those of you that have tuned in and watched for a while, you got a nice meaty taste. Even if I wasn't good at it, you got a, a pretty good taste of, of uh, how cool this, this wonderful game is. Um, and I'll have a review and some thoughts, and uh, I'll be back soon with new content, and, and uh, thank you all so much for your support, thanks for watching, and you guys know what I gotta say now, play forever. Thanks you guys, see you soon. <laughs>